What's up guys, Trip649 here coming at you with part 21 of the playthrough. And oh yeah, I forgot we have a bike now, we can go on that. But in this episode, we're going to be exploring the next route in the game. We just got our fourth gym badge. And we are on to route 38. I mean, it's just awesome. We're just so far in the game. But, um... We yeah, have some nice max potion right down here. And we might as well just come down here. Whatever. Dig ground. Never mind. There's nothing else down here. This is a route kind of just connecting Eckertik and Olivine City. But technically we're not going to Olivine City. We're going to Cienwood City because that's where the next gym is. You can technically fight, I think, 4th through 7th gyms in any order you want. I think so. Something like that. So, I could have went to the east of Ecritic City and you surf over to... What is that called again? Crap, I'm screwing up. Jota region is just its a little bit fuzzy in the head sometimes. It's the Ice Jam. You fight Price. It's uh, Mahogany Town. There you go. I think it's Mahogany Town. Yeah, we're, all of our cities right below a critique, and then it's CN would way out in the ocean. And yeah, the next gym is a fighting type gym. So I hopefully will have Pidgeotto take care of things. Pidgeotto needs to get a freaking decent flying type attack. That's its problem right now. It has Gust and Quick Attack, and U-Turn's good move, but it's just, it's, it's, you have to switch out with its socks. That was a good switch by me. I should probably teach Sand Slash Dig, but I don't really want to, because I think it learns it. Don't paralyze me. Sweet. And let's mix it up, you Shadow Claw. Sand Slash has a nice move set right now. And I didn't get paralyzed, too. I love it. Sand Slash over 25. The level gap in this game is not too bad. These next couple gyms, I think they're all right around the same. They're around level 30, so. And I'm thinking about adding a new member to my team coming up here. Um, I really need a Pokemon that can use Surf. So I might be adding a Water type. Or a Pokemon that can use Water type attacks. Better or use it special attack, I should say. Because Feraligator or Crocana is more of a physical attacking water type, so it'd be nice to just have a have Surf on another Pokemon that actually uses it. What's this? Moo Moo Milk? What is that nonsense? What the heck? I've never even seen that before. Confusion probably will confuse me. No, I got lucky. Sai -ay -ay. There we go. Dana. You're really good. Yep, no, we don't want you calling me. Yeah, I really wish we could have gotten that Growlithe earlier. That would have been nice. Well. I was talking about a Surf Pokemon that I wanted to catch, but here's a Pokemon that I'm going to catch nonetheless. It is Magnemite. I have not used a Magnemite. I don't think I've ever used a Magneton or Magnemite in this game before. So why not start now? It's a great Pokemon to add to your team. It has great typing, electric, and steel. I think it's going to be a great addition to our team. I don't really know what moves it has right now, but... We'll find out here. I only have three things here. Let's use fastball. Crap. Might have to go back and get uh, some Pokeballs. And got him with the fastball. Sweet. So it has a cool Pokeball it's in. In this game, you don't get experience for catching Pokemon. It is attracted by electromagnetic waves. It may approach trainers. They're using their poker gear. Well, that's why you came up to me. And I'm not nicknaming anything. 
All right. Let's fight this trainer quick. We can view crap. Ratata, we don't care. Your mom didn't love you, Ratata. Let's get off this bike. Aren't you a cute trainer? This chick wants my you know what. Valerie, she's kind of a. She's been around, it looks like. For, just met her and she's already coming on to me. You don't see that. Normally it's the other way around. Normally the guys come on to the gals they don't know. But. In this case, it's the girl. And that's a little weird. Guess it's awesome for my trainer. Maybe we can uh, hit up the Pokemon Center later. Your hop had been didn't take it very well. Skip Bloom, another great Pokemon for me to knock out. Johto has a lot of weak Pokemon in its Pokedex. It has a lot of cool ones like Houndoom and Kingdra and whatever. But I mean, what is this? Skip Bloom, Hop It, some for or uh. Jump up. I think those three are just mm, terrible Pokemon. Hoodoo knocked out are okay, but I'd rather have a Pidgeotto or a Pidgeot. Learn a new move. Crap. She got to see my Pokemon. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Nice. I think we have to fight this guy still. And after that, we're gonna get a, gonna go get our new Pokemon team member. Fly into fly high into the sky, my beloved bird Pokemon. So we're gonna be fighting up in the air. Nice. And I have some important news. I actually just ordered a microphone for my computer here, so you don't have to listen to this bad audio quality. I'm really going to try to get the, um, my audio is the worst part of my production. So I'm going to try to get that in a little more uh, higher quality, higher end stuff. It's not a super good microphone. It's like a whatever $15 microphone, but that's kind of all you need. And I bought a little adapter so I can use it on my MacBook, and it should be great. So I should be able to get my audio problem fixed. I mean, it doesn't sound horrible, like my voice, but the game is really bad. If I ever record stuff on my laptop, the, the sound is just bad. And I could just record my voice with, um, I, no, never mind, it, it doesn't really work that way. So I can't use two recording softwares because it just doesn't work. So I just bought a nice microphone. That should help out, so then I can just record the, um, the computer audio. And then I should be able to have a little bit better microphone audio with my voice as well. And it shouldn't pick up the computer's audio as bad. Which is awesome. 369, level 25 already. Let's go. We went up three levels, two levels in this game. For this video, I'm sorry. And we don't want the Apricorn. So let's go get our new team member. I will be I will be right back. Alright guys, we're back. And here is our buddy Magnemite. Sassy nature, so it sucks because his speed's bad, but oh well. Magnet pole prevents steel types from escaping. That doesn't help out I mean, that much, but... Um, I should have did this earlier, but let's check out the TMs we could give it. Um, I don't see too much stuff. I don't see anything other than Flash. Yeah. Eat Shadow Ball or anything? Um, no. We'll wait for Shadow Ball. Alright. Sweet. So let's go and fight a trainer. 
There's one way up here in the corner. Ah, uh, no, we can't get around. Crap. He's gonna try something he's learned today. School kid Chad. Mr. Mime. I don't think that can do much to me. It's Sonic Boom. Meditate. You want to attack with physical based normal type attacks? I'll be fine with that. Maybe not that. That's going to do some damage. It's a long attack. Come on, there you go. Holy crap, that did quite a bit. I think if I hit with this supersonic, I clinch up the victory. Ooh, that sucks for him. He's going to get five next time. Nice. Thundershock. Why aren't you missing with double tap? Double slap. Another critical hit. Look at that. That's cheese. I guess he did get two twos and one three. I guess. That's some cheese on his, for his end. But Magnemite taking out his first opponent. I'll take it. Not a boy. I guess we don't know if it's a boy or not. Is that a Pokedex? I don't want your phone number. It is a Pokedex. I don't want your phone number though, buddy. Okay. Ah, uh, cheese. Look at this cheese. Oh! Here's something that I want to catch just in case. Because I've always been a fan of Tauros, but it's just, it's never found a way into my team, really. I've used a couple of them. Look at that, Magnifying's gonna get knocked out. Oh, perfect. Alright, so we're gonna heal up. Fresh water. We're catching Pokemon today, boys. I think Tauros can learn Surf, too. Rage? Oh, boy. I guess I'm not going to hit him, so it's not going to do anything. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom does 20 damage, so. Nice. I should have bought some freaking Pokeballs when I was back there. Lure Ball. Taurus is really hard to catch. I don't think I'm going to catch it here. Yeah. I'll get lucky if I catch it. Might as well try. Lure ball, and then I have a timer ball after this, so. Two. Three. Ah! Let's go, baby! Let's go, baby! Toros! Only level 13. We're going to the fifth gym, and we're catching level 13s. That's so bad. Jeez, four foot seven and it's two hundred pounds. That's insane. I gotta uh, walk. Please don't let it in. Yes. All right. Put everything over there. Rock climb right there. And here's the guy that we have to talk to. Boba. He is a safari guy. Yep. He's gonna go overseas, whatever, yeah. It's over by Sienwood. They didn't have this in the original gold and silver and stuff. I do want to register. We do have to get his phone number, sadly. Once it's ready, we can go over there. And here is something that you're gonna want to talk or visit because you can get Drain Punch right here, which is a great attack, if your Pokemon can learn it. And you want to go in here because there's a sick mill tank. This cry is weak. Needs a lot of orange berries. So if you want to grow orange berries in your berry pots, then you can heal up this mill tank and this guy will sell you Moo Moo Milk afterwards. But, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we caught some Pokemon. We got a new addition to our team, Magnemite. I don't know if we're going to use Tauros or not, but I caught it anyway. And, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
I'm going to see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Heart Gold.